And so these are the normal, like if you're looking at stress fractures on bones, you're going to see this a lot of, yeah, in individuals who there's a lot of them from Egyptian burials where individuals who participated in heavy manual labor, the construction of things like pyramids, there's the same kinds of injuries, damage to the lower back, damage to the arms, broken limbs, those types of things are normal workplace injuries. Mm -hmm. But you will also see this in domestic labor as well, things like grinding grain, grinding grain manual in your hands. The repeated action of that, much like you can get repeat action injuries now, mm -hmm. it's there, but grinding those stones together sends vibrations up your arm that you can see in the remains of the women who participated in grinding that grain in their arms and their elbows where you see these micro fractures over time. Which is so interesting that you can see that. It is. And so so here, yeah, he has some of these injuries that may seem to align with a different status than the way that he's buried. Because the way that he's buried seems to say this, but some of these things about his bones might seem to say that. Mm -hmm. So does he have an occupation? Did he move out of a lower status into a higher status? That kind of stuff we don't know without more insight.